Good day, welcome to Revival Generation TV. Today's video is talking about enlarging your coast. Do you, I want to talk to you about courage, according to Nelson Mandela. The great Nelson Mandela said that courage is not absence of fear, but triumph over it. He continues and says that the brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. Look at the faces of your fears challenges and worries get understanding from the scripture that addresses such situation remember they said understanding will make you outstanding believe it act it do it leave it and make it part of you apply your faith but remember faith without work is dead may the lord bless you and enlarge your coast in jesus name please help us to subscribe Share this message and drop comment on the comment section below. May the Lord bless you. Give us that scripture. Verse 10. The Bible says, And God, and God granted him that which he requested. God granted him, not that which he has been admiring in others, not that which he, he wants passively. I know it, but it's just between me and God. <clears throat> Blind Bartimaeus said, Thou son of David, I don't care who else is hearing it. Have mercy on me. And the people said, Keep quiet. You are the one who knows the heart. You are the one who knows what lack of employment has done to you. You are the one who, you, you know, it's always, it's often said that the person wearing the shoes is the one who knows where it is hurting. So when it's time to pray, don't just stand and be organized and say, well, I, I know I, I don't want people to see me. Let camera not pass me. You have to deal with certain things once and for all. This spirit of death that I'm always seeing in my dreams, tonight is the time to deal with it. I, I, I reject untimely death. But just say, no, it will not come. It, that is a joke. You are going to have to place aggression. This door that opens for others, but just when it gets to me, that door closes. Somebody was supposed to sign something on your table. And just because he turned to discuss, a wind just pushed all the files and they can't find it again. And that becomes fine. What kind of satanic thing is that? And you are here keeping quiet. And he said, it does not matter. He will find it one day. The same wind that pushed it must push it back. Was it not the east wind that blew that abba? Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm planting a holy anger in you. Father, you gave me five children. The devil is already taking two. I assure you, Satan's plan is not to take two. It's to take all. He took one and you kept quiet. The Bible says in the early church, watch this, the book of Acts. When Satan took James and the church kept quiet, they didn't do anything about it. He said, ah, the Bible says he proceeded further. And he now took Peter and the church said no more. The Bible says the church gathered together and began to pray. The same angels that rescued Peter were still there when James was dying. But because there was silence and they did not pray. The same angels that would deliver your family today. They've always been there. It's just that you've not given it the kind of aggression. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you something. Someone once asked me a question. I said, Apostle, what does it take to build a global ministry like this? And I looked at him with compassion. I said, which part of the answer now am I going to give this person? One of it is a testimony in the spirit that you have mastered the art of keeping evil forces at bay. When physical victory manifests, it's because that victory has been established in the spirit. Please hear me. It is not when your job manifests that God answered you. <clears throat> when you deal with it in the realm of the spirit and it's finished, you will find out that you can wake up in the morning. That's why you see people come for service and sometimes they are ministered to. There are a few people who may walk back, maybe they, their healing has started and they did not feel anything. You know and they may feel disappointed you hear them testify that they went home and slept and woke up because once it is done in the realm of the spirit that is it goliath died in the realm of the spirit 
David killed Goliath before he met him there. And he said, Mr. Man, you are standing just as a mass of interruption. I'm going to bring you down even with a stone. So when we are going to pray now, please, I want you to pray with seriousness. There are things that you wrote. There are sicknesses in your body. Can I tell you, we are in the days where headache can become cancer, thanks to demons. You will feel a little headache, something that you will just say, ah, it's paining me. The next time the pain goes to this side, then it goes to another place, unconnected. I'm not a doctor, but you will know this is a demon spirit. You hear people telling you, there's something roaming around my body. Have you heard people say that? It starts from my head. You know how hard it is to move around your body. Even God had to put veins and arteries. And here is a demon spirit walking around freely. Until you stop it by the power of the Holy Ghost. How about businesses that are going down? From January, your business has been going down. And you've just been watching it. Thank God for principles. Listen, we are people of principles and we are intelligent people. But we are people who place superior honor to the realm of the spirit. The physical realm is a child, a slave, helpless slave to the realm of the spirit. If you do not deal with things spiritually, whatever effort you are making physically is a total waste of time. I assure you. If you are a ministry here as a man of God, it is not just by invitation, poster, social media. Those are physical things and they are profitable. The real victory is in the realm of the spirit. Apostle, why is it that people do not like me? I'm a sincere person. Every time someone wants to help me, they seem to forget. You think they make themselves forget? There are wicked spirits. What do you think made the wine presser to forget Joseph? And added two more years one man's forgetfulness added another man's pain hallelujah how about someone who just received some money that should bless the family and wipe their tears and all of a sudden three people went down somebody needs a surgery five million another person needs a surgery eight million another person has a mysterious sickness that we must fly the person to uk to check you calculate everything is the exact same money you collected someone just wants to help you and the devil will masquerade and use certain faces in the dream to now come and appear as an angel of light and say don't help this person that person is carrying a familiar spirit and your destiny helper gets up in the morning in fear because the devil used your face or used something else to money and you find out that uh, let me tell you africa especially is a place where people respect the realm of the spirit someone can be a very intelligent person he goes to bed and the devil just uses your face you come with a knife in the dream supposedly to kill the person the person stands up and says, oh, so this is my enemy. You go to the office the next day. Good afternoon, sir. You are leaving this job now. What did I do? No, before you kill me, I will kill you. Both of you are innocent. There is a spirit joining. This thing has happened even between husband and wife. Have you seen it happen? That a man will go to sleep. A wicked spirit will use the face of the wife. And the man gets up and says, no, no way. Not in this house. And the devil is just standing, stealing, killing, destroying. In the name of Jesus, tonight by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Paraka karate kasana katabalaka. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit masquerading through situations and circumstances to abort the glory of God in your life goes down this night. Goes down this night. Goes down this night. The same way the Lord can make it happen that someone goes to bed and suddenly he has a dream and it's about you. And the person is thirsty and you are bringing water. The person gets up in the morning and says, you, you got a job in this company when? Two weeks ago, come, you are promoted to my PA. What happened? I had a dream and I saw you giving me water. And in my mind, I interpret it to mean you are a good person. Ah, life. Do you know, I really feel sorry for people who downplay the realm of the spirit. I'm a person of principles. There are, it's not all about just demons and the realm of the spirit. But let me tell you, in order of priority, the physical realm 
came as the child of the realm of the spirit that means for anything physical it is only the after effect of something that has been settled in the spirit do you know a true story and then we'll begin to pray one time the lord opened my eyes and i saw something i saw someone who in the realm of the spirit he had already died but in the physical he was still walking he was still alive but in the realm of the spirit like this person has been buried in a coffin over now that person will be walking yet not knowing that you've been finished anything can kill you including a bike you just see that a bike pass and just hit someone and he fell down and they say both bones broke someone fell children go to pluck mango from a tree they fall from that tree and clean themselves and stand up and climb again and yet someone just fell from a bike and both of his bones you think that is just a fall listen we are god gave us a mind to think but let's be careful so that we do not allow the devil cheat us by just folding our arms when you see evil call it for what it is and deal with it by the blood ah, what is this pain that i'm having mysterious pain and the devil says cancer like it happened to your father like it happened to this i said no it will not happen to me i went to school that's not how the realm of the spirit works you stand there listen there is a way you open fire at the devil huh you have drawn a line anything you permit will grow hear me anything you permit will grow you permit failure it grows you permit the spirit of death it takes one step towards your house you turn back in the name of jesus christ this is how believers are taught to maintain victory hallelujah apostle but you know the truth is that the way after the pandemic it affected everybody my business has gone down till tomorrow i agree and i sympathize with you but do you know that for your business to come back it is going to take the favor of god the blessing like i taught the ministry of men have you called the men no i'm sure that god will just make it happen whereas somebody in the midst of that pandemic held on to the horns of the altar and shouted the door for his new level to open up i don't know who is angry in this place tonight but in the name of jesus i came here to release my faith with you that anything that does not name the name of christ it must live your life now please open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of jesus the son of the living god my life must be a capture of victory total victory total deliverance total liberation he who the son sets free is free indeed by the power of the holy ghost Someone is praying. Repakatoshe ka praskata belaka kosh. Krante ke barosha praskata katesh. Krapakatoska te belaka toska batia. Every mysterious sickness roaming around my body, I curse you by the God of Heaven, Spirit of Death. I call you by your name and I banish you from my life, banish you from my family banish you from my business someone is praying shade kako shata balakos krapa kata katos kata frate ketesh krante ke berekos kata prande ke balakos yata hallelujah 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 now i'm going to lead you to pray the prayer that jabez prayed number one it says oh that thou wouldest bless me as i mentioned them i will lead you to pray this is the miracle service i want you to participate if you want to hold hands with someone to encourage you that is you, you can do that but by all means any spirit of slumber that wants you to sleep or just fold your arms and watch people is cheating you Say in the name of Jesus, Father, I decree and declare 
that by mercy let your blessing rest upon me let your blessing rest upon me rest upon my family open your mouth and begin to pray the blessing of the Lord that make it rich and added no sorrow the blessing of the Lord that causes a man to prevail oh that thou wouldest bless me bless me bless me I activate the blessing upon my life I activate the blessing I decree and declare blessed in the city blessed in the country blessed in Abuja blessed in Lagos blessed in the United Kingdom blessed in South Africa blessed in the United States in the name of Jesus man of God pray pray the blessing of the Lord pray it upon your spirit pray it upon your children now pray it upon the works of your hands blessed shall thou be in the city blessed shall thou be in the country blessed shall be your needing trough go ahead and pray outside make sure you are praying all the overflows make sure you are praying in the name of jesus the blessing is upon me 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 speaking loud and clear speaking loud and clear speaking louder than any curse speaking that louder than any demonic thing You are praying. Shate ke pakato safras ke tebe kata kapra te ke parako shagates. The blessing is upon me, prospering the works of my hands. The blessing is upon me, manifesting as signs and wonders. The blessing is upon me, turning me into a mysterious sign and wonder. Blessing is upon me. Someone pray. Shaleke peke toskata frende ke parusiata. Embra kato kapres kate peke tos. Sobanto shodo baleke tos. Ibra tos seveze kate baleke tosiata. For in Jesus' name we pray. Ah! For in Jesus' name we pray. I tell you things are shifting in the spirit now watch this do you know what allowed the flood to come what allowed the flood to come was that the blessing was withdrawn and was only it was completely withdrawn and that was the only possibility for the flood to come so when the flood was over watch this now when the flood was over the flood of noah now remember everything and everyone except noah his wife the three sons and their wives and the animals that were in the ark am i right on that these were the only things that were alive you find that noah came out and then noah reared an altar you find that in genesis chapter 8 and verse 21 and 22 he, he carried some of the animals that were left some of the animals came two by two some of the animals came seven by seven you will see that even some that were left noah still slaughtered them and they died but watch what happened when god wanted the earth to increase again give us genesis chapter 9 and verse 1. i want to show you the power of the blessing what did god do to noah same thing he did to adam you see and god blessed noah and his sons and said unto them be fruitful does that sound like something he had said before multiply that means every time God sees small things what he does to increase them is to make this same thing keep this scripture there because this is going to be your prayer 
That means in God's mind, what it means to be blessed is to be fruitful. What it means to be blessed is to multiply. What it means to be blessed is to replenish. You are not blessed in God's mind until he sees fruitfulness, until he sees multiplication, until he sees the ability to replenish and to subdue. This is God's idea. Every time you hear him speaking a blessing, he will break it down and say, this is my idea of being blessed. Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. Are you ready to pray? We are still praying the blessing prayer. Say, Father, as a result of the blessing, that is upon me I speak to my destiny be fruitful multiply and replenish open your mouth and begin to pray I am blessed blessed to be fruitful blessed to multiply nothing remains small in my life but the Spirit of God and God bless Noah his sons and God bless Koinonia and all those connected to her by prophecy and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Noah and his sons God bless Noah and his sons. You can call the name of your children. You can call the name of every company, everyone who is under your care. Declare upon them, be fruitful, multiply, be fruitful, multiply, replenish. Replenish. Replenish, replenish. Replenish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next prayer. I'm telling you something is shifting in your life. He said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. You want to understand this? Let's go to Isaiah 54 from verse 1 and 3. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that did not travail with child. He said, for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, said the Lord. Verse 2, it says, enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtain of thy habitation. Spare not and lengthen thy cord and strengthen thy stakes why verse 3 hallelujah for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited look at me do you know what it means to be enlarged to be enlarged means to grow that's how we grow is that true we grow through enlargement there are people who respectfully speaking i got to find out a few cases where some people remain children even in their as adults you still see them like children like babies it's a medical condition that people remain literally you look at them their face nothing changes there is no growth there is no enlargement yet some of them are 25 30 years and they are see they have the voice of children everything around them and when we talk of enlargement, we're not just talking of physical growth, financial growth, spiritual growth, 
the level of grace you've been functioning on for 10 years is still the same the level of favor is still the same did the bible not say grace and peace can be multiplied are you ready to pray that prayer of enlargement that father i'm tired of being at this level for a long time enlarge me open your mouth and begin to pray spiritually this level of my prayer life this level of my word study life someone is praying enlarge me by the spirit of the living god enlarge me in ministry enlarge me shapakato parakato shafragates krasagata farasko sebelegos embrakato shafrandes kalebash krateke belegete sefraskati balakos yata enlarge my coast enlarge my coast enlarge my coast enlarge coin on here enlarge coin on here enlarge my spiritual life enlarge every aspect of my life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah in jesus name don't be tired you'll soon sit down but listen please look at me what is the difference between a one room and a duplex what is the difference space am i right on that what is the difference between a great duplex and a mansion as you call it space what you can do in a one room what you cannot do in a one room you are able to do it in a duplex am i right on that now just respectfully speaking if you have one room everything is there the kitchen is there the whatever is there are we together smallness has the characteristic effect of constraint it does not give you the opportunity to be efficient are we together now so imagine that you move from one room to a two bedroom now you can convert one maybe to be a library one to be a guest room have you seen people now respectfully speaking have you seen for instance say a couple a husband and a wife and maybe two children and all they have is one room you've seen what happens in the night the father is constrained maybe he even has to sleep on a chair for the wife and maybe the children and maybe the little baby you see that now did you not read in your bible that solomon was judging a case of two prostitutes where because of the constraint of space they slept on their visions and one killed they killed their children because of lack of space let me tell you enlargement is a blessing what ten thousand cannot do one million can do are we together now yes oh my man needs to be treated and the bill is two hundred thousand and that innocent woman is about to die because all you have is ten thousand but when God enlarges you, you have more space. You can even be a blessing. What this level of anointing can do, cannot do. This level of anointing can do. Are we together now? Yes. This level of anointing can only lead you to pastor 50 members. Not to insult, but that is what it can do. It cannot bring you a global ministry this way. No. No. You cannot put... The tire of a tricycle on a tractor or a, a bulldozer or a lorry can that work but they are all tires so when you bring that small tire how many of you have seen spare tires of cars that look very small because you were not supposed to drive with it for a long time is only sufficient to take you to the mechanic you see some of these giant cars and they come with enlarged tires and sometimes when smaller cars are struggling because of the pothole those cars can come and pass as if they're they are not even aware that's what enlargement does when you are limited when you are constrained five children you are living on fifty thousand. it's not a blessing no let me tell you the truth not in our world today you are anointed you pray you have to pray for one week for headache to go you can't have a ministry that is flourishing that way I told you people don't follow men they follow results 
when you are a man that commands that result it will look like they are following you but what they really follow are results it takes a level of dedication and loyalty and training by God for people to look beyond results and now start following men enlarge my coast enlarge my I've prayed this prayer many times this ministry did not start like this and this ministry will not remain like this because that grace for enlargement is there so why is it that your life is remaining that way one more time I want you to refuse look at every area of your life that has refused to grow and declare let that anointing for enlargement rest upon it open your mouth and pray one last time father enlarge me by the spirit of the living God enlarge me by the spirit of the living God for the sake of your glory for the excellency of your name please pray hallelujah number three let your hand be with me hallelujah let your hand be with me let your hand be with me you are going to pray this is what is responsible for advancement this is what is responsible for speed when the hand of the Lord comes upon men they refuse to stay not just at that level but even in that location it is God that moves men when you find stagnancy what you need is the hand of God the hand of God moves men. The Bible says it was the Lord that caused Moses to advance. Say, Father. One more time. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus. By your hand. Advance me. By your hand. Advance my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. By your hand. By your hand, by your hand, advance me in ministry. By your hand, advance me in every area of life. Someone is praying. Sapakatoskata prateke paruka shada kela kata fraska tebeke toske tebran kali katosha fraska zenegetesh empre kete kete kata prata la katofre kesegete advance me advance me by your spirit hallelujah 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 and with the last prayer point it will now lead me to begin to minister as fast as we can fire is going to begin to fall in this place now give us the last prayer point keep me from evil listen the psalmist said he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty is that true verse 2 says give us verse 2 i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust verse 3 surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler from the noisome pestilence verse 4 he shall cover thee with his feather and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be and thy buckler verse 5 it says thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor the arrow that flyeth by day verse 6 nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor the destruction that wasted at noonday seven a thousand shall fall by thy side and ten thousand by thy right side but it shall not come nigh thee. Last verse. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Listen. Do you know what it means for God to keep you? To keep you means, Lord, I will not die before my time. Amen. Hallelujah. I was listening to a video this morning by late Archbishop Benson Idahosa. 
and he was teaching somewhere in the states and he was just sharing how that when God gave him an instruction in Benin then and he went and he was praying and praying and God gave him an instruction for seven days to go out every night at the roundabout alone and begin to pray and declare and say Benin belongs to Jesus and he said he prayed it the spirit of fear came what if you would die he said in one of the days when you got there he saw parts of animals that were caught and on them his name was written there can I tell you saying I do not trouble anybody nobody would trouble me is a joke all it takes to be a victim of evil is to be born the moment you find yourself here you have to understand the warfare dimension of life are we together now I'm saying this because many of you do not know you're a man of God here I want you to listen daily daily there are demons and spirits it's only when we go to heaven that I will know how many shrines how many pots how many sacrifices carry my name daily but they'll continue to boil it as dinner lunch supper it, it will have no effect not because listen not because we are powerful on our own we have found from scripture that there is immunity in that name that there is immunity in that blood are you ready to pray now say father by the blood of jesus the blood of the eternal covenant every covenant tying me to failure weakness to defeat right now by the blood let it be broken open your mouth and pray every covenant every covenant tying me to death witchcraft defeat yokes Ordinances. Shepakato safra teke perekosiata. No matter how long be broken. No matter how long be broken. No matter how long be broken. Every covenant that says people will not rise, that says people will not shine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crown and worship you. Oh, be lifted above all other gods we lay our crown